So today I have something new for you. I am teacher Ato and this is English Friends Ato in case you are brand new here. You are highly welcome. Once again, my name is Teacher Ato and this channel is called English Fluency Ato. Yes, we are just done with reading. Yes. So now we shall go into grammar and also tenses. Okay. Yes, this time is for grammar and tenses reading is done finally so if you want to learn reading go back in my older videos okay you learn how to read and then you'll catch up with us in tenses and grammar okay yes uh this channel is purposely built to teach you english nothing else okay uh how have you been for me i've been really fine in case you are a new subscriber thank you for subscribing and also in case you are an old subscriber also thank you for subscribing and also in case you are new in this channel you are highly welcome and also in case you are old in this channel thank you for being here in my channel okay i am quite dedicated to teach you that is my aim that is my happiness and that is my joy to help you learn your favorite language and the language of your desire which is english okay so today uh we have regular and irregular nouns okay that is what i got for you today regular and irregular nouns so how do you know that a noun is regular or not okay so first of all they are known when you want to use uh, singular and plural okay yes uh in uh, some nouns uh, becomes irregular when they are in plural okay but when they are in, in singular it remains re regular okay uh irregular simply means that changes in the in the sound of a certain noun okay yes but the same meaning like in case when it 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 changes into plural the sound also changes okay and also the spelling also changes okay but still meaning the same thing but in plural way yes so today let us look at the few that i got for you okay yes once again when you like the content please remember to subscribe like and share because it is my goal to teach you when you share with your friends families uh, and your beloved ones um they will also learn and benefit from it okay i uh, thank you for sharing thank you for subscribing may god and allah May God or Allah bless you. Okay, support the channel. Let us go up to a thousand subscribers. Okay, that is the challenge we got up to a thousand subscribers before the month of March ends. Okay, yes, so we have regular and irregular nouns. What are regular nouns? Uh, these are a nouns that changes the sound when it becomes plural. Okay yes we have singular and plural so this side we have this side we have uh regular and also this side we also have regular but this side we have irregular these are just some few that i got for you but you can also go and do your research and get more ones they are there but these ones that i've given you are the mainly used ones okay mainly use ones okay but also there are some few that you have to know and you can go do some small research then you will find it okay yes uh these are regular okay regular means that they don't change okay when is singular and when you talk about a singular noun and a plural noun they don't change okay they, you just add some letters like s or es okay you just add some letters like s or es later on we shall also uh, study 
uh, about how you can why how do you know that in this noun i can add s or es okay how do you know that you need to add s or es we shall study that later but not today okay so here they don't change these are regular they don't change you just add s or es for example we have been been and then beans okay been beans hen become hens okay you just add s here we have s at the end here s also at the end pen becomes pens jug becomes jugs you see the rest here don't change okay the rest of the word remains okay the rest of the words remain okay jug jug remain and then you add s cup cup remains and then you add s chair chair remain and then you add s hand hand remain and then you add s bag bag remain then you add s okay door door remain and then you add s okay yes so let us read bean beans hen hens pen pens jug jugs cup cups chair chairs hand hands bag bugs door doors these are regular verbs they don't change okay in the sound it's just a matter of adding ss or es okay sssss or esds so let us see here then these are the regular verbs that you add es these ones you add s okay then these ones you add es okay uh we have singular and plural dress dress remains then you add es okay bus bus remain then you add es cloth cloth remains and then you add es box box remain then you add es church church remains and then you add es house house remain okay then you add your es you can see this one take s this one takes es at the end then how do you know that this one will take s or es let me give you a simple explanation just a light explanation not into detail next time we shall see into detail okay when a verb ends with s h this one will take es when a verb ends with c h this one will take es when a verb ends with x it will take es and when the verb ends with s also it will take es okay when the last word is ending with s with with sh okay for example uh brush okay brush this one will take es it will become brushes that is an example also another example of ch here we have church it ends with ch brush brush end with s h e s this one ends with it with a ch it will also take es if a verb ends with s for example like this box ends with a with x okay it will take es also when the verb ends with th th will also take es okay 
like here cloth okay it will also take e s okay when the verb ends with a, a s it will also take e s also when the verb ends with a double double s it will also take e s okay that is just a simple explanation i got for you i hope you remember if you like the channel uh, if you like the content please remember to subscribe like and share also if you like the channel in general share and also subscribe i will be thankful and grateful for your support yes so now let us go to irregular verbs what are irregular verbs these are verbs that changes the meaning when it turns into a plural form okay yes in singular form it sounds different in a plural form it also sounds different now let us look at them okay we have irregular nouns and uh, uh, actually not verb nouns okay uh we have singular and plural okay yes leaf okay leaf no no not leaf sorry loaf okay loaf this this is a big bread that you take for breakfast and tea okay they are mainly packed in a bag a polythene bag okay loaf we have loaves okay so you have seen that here f is gone and then v e s okay it has changed okay uh loaf loves v e s leaf okay leaf from the tree okay also here v e s becomes leaves from leaf to leaves from loaf to loves and then lady lady also changes okay you can see uh, y is gone y is gone replaced with i e s okay ladies okay lady ladies okay by removing y and adding e s tooth tooth one tooth and then plural we have teeth you can see that double o has become double e okay double o has become double e you can say i have for example if you want to make sentences about it you can say i have strong teeth i have a broken tooth i have a broken tooth it means that you have one broken tooth one broken tooth and then uh teeth is plural i have strong teeth hoof hoof is the leg of a cow the downer part not the whole leg the downer part okay uh the rubber part is it rubber or plastic i don't know uh we have hoof also v e s hooves okay hooves and uh i think i skipped this one man man becomes men okay a changes into e men man men and then hoof hooves hooves a woman woman becomes women women also e a changes also into e but the rest of the word remains same foot double o changes into double e foot becomes fit okay let's read again love loves leaf leaves man men lady ladies tooth teeth hoof hooves woman 
women foot feet so let us go and look at some sentences with the word that we just learned here we have the the sentences that are in regular and irregular verb let me hope you can see well in case you are not able to see well i'm sorry i apologize okay because i'm trying to fit in all work in this small board okay uh, i'm trying to fit in a lot of sentences into this board it seems to be big but it's quite small yeah so um but you'll be able to follow with me in case you cannot see so uh let us check here I, i've already given you the answers as well things have been changed yes here is saying rewrite the underlined words okay yes rewrite means to write again the underlined words so the underlined words are the one that you should change into plural uh they are in black okay underlined words are these ones in the blue okay yes number one we have our cat ate their food okay here the singular is cat okay here the singular is cat our cat ate their food so how can you change it our cats so the underlined word of the cat is the one that you will change but the rest will remain the same okay the rest of the sentences will remain the same ate their food this is a past tense sentences okay our cats ate their food mm -hmm. who took my pencil who took my pencil is a question i want to know the person who took my pencil so i can say who took my pencil mm -hmm. then in plural you say who took my pencils it is only the pencils that will change you add s on the pencil also s in the cut the woman is here that is singular the woman is here the underlined word is woman and is okay so we shall say the women are here is will change to are because are are supports plural plural um plural word okay and uh, uh s supports singular singular word okay yes r is for plural then s is for singular for example here we have woman which is one it is supported by the by the s okay by is sorry not s by is okay singular is supported by is and then women supported by r so here we have women which is plural r will support it okay so we are looking for our bag you can also see here we is also plural okay yes we is also a plural and then r is supporting we okay here the online word is baby not bag sorry for that we are looking for our baby okay we are looking for our babies you can see that y is taken and then replaced by i e by i and then e s okay the church was closed okay the church was closed this is singular past singular past then we make it to plural past the churches here we have no es but here we have the churches were closed when a sentence is talking about past plural okay past plural you will 
uh, use where was will change into where okay w e r e was will change into where but for singular pre singular past it is going to be was if it's singular but past was plural plural but past where okay yes where is my loaf of bread okay yes is will change to r okay and my will change to our and then love will change into loves okay yes love will change into loves okay where is our loves of bread is will change to r my will change to our love will change to loves these ones are singular and these ones are plural okay singular plural singular plural singular plural singular plural up to down if you have not understood remember to rewind the video and watch again okay yes uh, also if you like the content don't forget to subscribe like and share support this channel let us go up to 1000 okay yes uh, let's continue it's the continuation of this here his foot was painting this is singular okay his foot was painting and then when it changes into plural you say there his changes into there there means many people okay and then foot changes to feet was changes to where painting okay singular and plural okay there feet where painting and then they have one sub county okay they have one sub county uh in plural the online word is one sub county okay which is singular so in plural it is they have two sub counties one will become two and then sub county y will go away replace with i okay and then you add es okay then uh last but not least okay almost finishing change to many they have some sentences here and they want you to change them into plural okay into many yes uh we shall change it together okay singular this is a leaf if someone said this is a leaf then how can you make it into plural okay this will change will become these okay these let me hope that you are seeing is becomes r and then a leaf becomes leaves okay yes these are leaves this becomes t h e s e and then is becomes r okay for plural and then leaf becomes leaves okay uh this is not food it is fit foot okay yes so the foot is big the foot is big here what will change is foot and is okay the foot becomes fit is becomes r because we are changing it into plural r big yes the feet are big is is become this then foot changes these are now reg irregular as as we talked about last time 
this changes into this is changes to r a leaf changes to leaves okay because the main subject is leaf also foot okay get me a loaf of bread okay then here becomes get me loaves of bread okay this is simple get me loaves a loaf will change into loaves yes get me loaves to 10 20 of bread mm -hmm. remove the box here will become remove the boxes okay remove the boxes and then that knife is sharp that knife knife is for cutting things that knife is sharp it means that it's one knife okay and then you say those that will change to those knives is changes to r and then sharp sharp remains same sharp sharp means that it has the ability to cut something easily okay that changes to those knife become knives f e becomes v r v e s is changes to r and then sharp okay if you like the content don't forget to subscribe i will see you in the next class but let me hope that you understood if you have not understood write for me down in the comment below or even you can rewatch the video again and again i believe you will understand see you soon in the next class ciao